This is Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for April 21, 2022, Thursday in the Octave of Easter. First reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verses 11 to 26. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over, and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response real song. O Lord our God, how gracious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? Alleluia. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. Alleluia. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. Alleluia. The Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 35 to 48. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? 
And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see. Because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations. Beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. In the first reading of today, we hear Peter's second sermon to a great Jewish audience. Peter begins his marvelous message by appealing to this large Jewish audience, explaining the fact that the same Jesus whom they rejected was the reason for the lame man's healing. Peter also makes it clear in his declaration that the miracle was not done in his or John's power, but through the lame man's faith in Jesus' name. Peter urges his Jewish audience to respond or write to Jesus of Nazareth by repenting of their sins. In today's reading, we find Peter exalting Jesus who suffered, died, and has risen for the forgiveness of our sins and to heal us of all the ailments of our body and soul. Then he calls everyone to examine their state of life. Especially he makes them aware of their guilt. He tells them that those who repent and believe in Christ will win the grace of God. Here Peter wants to stress Jesus' authority as the one whom the crowds must Repent to and believe in. It's a joyful and powerful invitation for each one of us too to share our faith in Christ where we are planted, making use of every little opportunity. Opportunities are in front of our eyes continuously, but at times not aware. Today's reading made me be aware of myself and the happenings around me. It also teaches me to proclaim the gospel with faith, glorifying and praising the risen Lord. As a child of risen Lord, it's my responsibility to save souls as many as I can in the powerful name of Jesus and to bring peace and grace to broken families. In the gospel of today, the risen Lord not only appears to his disciples, but also explains to them that in his sufferings, death and resurrection, everything written about him in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms is fulfilled. The disciples were very lucky to be with him, witnessing everything of his life. Jesus had already told them, Blessed are your eyes, for they see, and, and your ears they hear. For I tell you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. And so Jesus tells his disciples, you are the witnesses of these things. We too are the living and moving witnesses of Jesus through baptism. We are called to be the instruments of his works. Jesus' name and the faith of the needy go side by side. In so same way with the patience and faith. 
In Jesus' name, the needy receives grace and help. And the virtue of patience will help us, our faith going in the midst of strong and rough waves of life. Prayer. My resurrected Lord Jesus, I thank and praise you that you are a gracious God and Savior. We thank you for saving us when we were incapable of doing anything. We thank you for the gift of faith through which we receive you into our hearts. We thank you, Lord, and we ask you to be with us in our ministry in proclaiming your gospel. Bless all my subscribers, all those who read and reflect your word through this channel, and fulfill all their heartfelt desires. Bless everyone with good health of mind and body. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.